Welcome to this remote control quick tip. This quick tip is about this stuff here, shoe glue. Now shoe glue is something that when you open these little packets, it takes out and it feels like a slightly sticky blue tack. And then once you leave it for about a day, it sets up to be like hard rubber. Now the reason I'm showing you this stuff is I'm starting to use it more and more in the hobby. And occasionally there are times when I don't design a 3D part to connect one part of a remote control model to another. Far too often these days I find myself reaching for SketchUp or 123D when I have a problem to design a 3D part. And in a lot of cases that works really well. But occasionally there are times when you're looking for a mount that's going to conform itself perfectly to a slightly irregular surface and you're also looking for a slightly rubberized mount that will absorb a little bit of vibration too. And this stuff is perfect for that. Now the thing is once it actually sets up it's slightly sticky so you'll find that it'll stick whatever you're setting up together but let me show you what I've just done with it to kind of illustrate where this stuff can be really really handy. So for those subscribers that have been with the channel for a while you'll know that we love the Texumo here it's a fantastic flying wing and we've also reviewed these little cameras these ion way things here that are really great they provide a little box basically with a cheap and cheerful camera at the front and also a little transmitter behind it. Now what I wanted to do was to put a little camera on the front of a Texumo for FPV experience. We have them set up on things like Bixlers and other craft and I decided to use shoe groove for this. So this is actually what it looks like. So we use one of those little packets of shoe glue, took it out, rolled it around into a little sausage, mounted and molded it under the camera and then stuck the camera down with it and smoothed it all out. Left it for a day and this is the result. A very nice mount, slightly rubber, which hopefully will absorb a little bit of the vibration that we'll occasionally get from the motor and props as we're flying. But it's also a really robust connection here as well. So rather than me having to use things like double-sided tape or cable ties or those things, occasionally there are those situations where shoe glue is worth thinking about. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.